I want to talk to you one more thing, uh, just on the same note as working with uh, with uh, Ringo and whatnot. But your work on uh, Who Are You? I just kind of want to know how that came about with the Who. At the time, I I come off the road with Arjun, uh, and I wanted to, you know, I've been on the road for twelve years basically, mm-hmm. and I just wanted mm-hmm. to have a year away from immediately trying to get into something else myself. So I thought I'm going to stay at home and anything that's really interesting that comes up, I'll say yes to, but otherwise, you know, I won't bother. Um, And uh, Roger Daltrey phoned me up and said, would you play on my solo album? So I played on one of the boys, the album one of the boys, which strangely enough, Colin wrote a song on, which is, uh, you know, strange happenstance. But anyway, I played on that album. And then after that, uh, he and, and and Pete asked me if I would play on the Who Are You album. And I was supposed to play on the whole album. So um, they were going through a thing at the time where they had, um, I think there was a lot going on with their business and, and they were having lots and lots of meetings. Um, so I would get there at sort of 11 o'clock in the morning. And strangely enough, the only person who would turn up absolutely on time was Keith Moon. Believe it or not, <laughs> and he was and he was really sober and quiet <laughs> when he first when he first came into the, the studio. And I made the mistake uh, of of actually he said to me, "Oh, come on, it's an hour, you know." And the other guys aren't here yet. He said, "Shall we go down the local pub and have a drink?" Well, and I said, "Yeah." I said, "Okay." So I wandered down with him. He said, "Oh, listen, we've got to go out quietly." He said because. They always like the minder to come with me, he said, but we don't need him. So Ooh. anyway, we were in and it was a really rough pub. And there was a guy playing pool who was built like a tank yeah. and, and had muscles in his arms that you, you couldn't believe. And he was playing pool in this very quiet environment. And just as he was about to take a shot, uh, Keith Moon walked past and hit his, his elbow and went, oh, sorry, mate. And this guy stood up and looked at him and I thought, OK, I'm going to get one quick drink and I'm, I'm going back. <laughs> and then and then Keith came back in by the time the others were there uh, uh, an hour or two later. And, and he was three sheets to the wind, as we say, you know, yeah. and, uh, and suddenly I walked into the um, into the live room to meet a hail of drumsticks at me. You know, all this going, I thought, whoa, what's going on? But actually, it's. Um, they were in meetings for so much of the time but and i put i can't remember what it was three weeks aside or something to do it and after that i'd already committed to doing an album with um an andrew lloyd weber album which had john heisman and coliseum and gary moore mm-hmm. on it and and andrew's brother julian lloyd weber the classical cellist yeah on something that andrew had written and it became a number one album actually in the uk but anyway uh so I had to leave after we'd only recorded three tracks. And I'm actually only credited on two of them, I think. Um, But uh, the first track, um, the track on the album that was Pete's song, Love Is Coming Down, I'm actually playing on that as well. Yeah. But I played Who Are You? And uh, and I played on um, uh, a track of John's. But, um, God, I can't can't remember what that one was called. Um, And and he wanted me to play synth on that, and he had the synth sound. So that was a pretty sort of straightforward sort of thing. Um, And then I had to go up to Pete and said, look, I've got to do this Andrew Lloyd Webber album now. And he said, which album would you rather do? I said, it's not a question of that. I said, it's a question of, of, um, you know, I've committed to doing it, and he's put all this work into it and everything. Uh, And I'd done uh, some live things at his his home where we, we got the whole thing together. So I was, you know, the only person who could do it, really. So, so that's what happened. So I only ended up on three tracks. But when we were actually playing, it, it, it wasn't a long process of recording. It was great, actually. And, I mean, I think the, the overall sound of, of Who Are You, particularly. But, and so did, you, coming down. did you do the synths on Who Are You or the keyboard at the end or both? No, just the piano. Hey. 